KPIX 5's Ann Makovic joins us live in the newsroom with the developing story. And This morning, the judge gave the jury their instructions and perhaps the most important, ignore the national immigration debate that erupted after the killings. Jurors have to focus on the moments before Kate Steinle died. Jose Inez Garcia Zarate admitted to accidentally killing Steinle on San Francisco's Pier 14 in 2015. He says he picked up something wrapped in a shirt on the pier and it turned out to be a gun that then went off. But prosecutors argue that he pointed the gun at her and pulled the trigger. The bullet did ricochet off the pier before hitting Steinle. The jurors now have four choices in their verdict. First degree murder, second degree murder, and involuntary manslaughter or not guilty. The battleground in this case is going to be the level of intent. The level of intent of this man when he had that gun in his hand. Is this an act of recklessness, an act of criminal negligence, or is it depraved heart, absolutely a deliberate indifference toward human life? Another flashpoint in this case, the gun was stolen from the truck of a Bureau of Land Management agent, but the immigration debate is certainly what gave it national attention. Garcia Zarate had been deported back to Mexico five times and was wanted for a sixth deportation at the time of the killing. Once the defense wraps up its closing arguments, the prosecution will make its final push, and then the case is in the hands of the jury. They could come back with a verdict later this week. Live in the newsroom, Ann McAvick, KPIX. Five.